Hello, everybody. I think we're live. Always that weird delay. And I always acknowledge it. That's great. Um, it is Monday, the 6th of November. So, not quite remember, remember. But, hey, how's it going? Hey, Papa Joe. <laughs> Alright, so this is the first of many times I will likely be saying this today. Uh, today is the result of a vote that subscribers and patrons did on the Discord server, and it will probably be a tradition for every Monday from now on with some exceptions if we're in the middle of something uh, important or for what I, I don't know how we possibly could be in some in the middle of, the middle of something important because we're streaming but like uh, like we're, we're, this is just it's just a video game stream right but at the same time like just just in case there is ever something that you know I, I I'm, I'm in the middle of, of, of doing some big project or I need to play a game for whatever reason um, then maybe it won't happen those weeks but but for most weeks we're gonna this is gonna be what happens on Monday is that pe people get to tell me what to play and we play it that's what we're going to do. Um, so today, or this week, um, the Stanley Parable one, and I've never played this game, I've always wanted to, uh, I've played the demo a long time ago when it came out, and for whatever reason, I didn't play the main game, I can't remember the demo, but I kind of know the main, the main hook of it, um, and it's always interested me, but I've never played it. So we'll, we're going to be doing that today. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, if for whatever reason we finish it really, really, really quickly, um, then maybe we'll do the beginner's guide afterwards. However, I have a lot of video editing, editing to do on Hob. So I'm hoping to get that done today. Uh, and to get it done today, I'm going to have to really really work my ass off but I really want it done today so uh maybe a shorter stream would be good and the Stanley Parable is what won the stream not the beginner's guide right so we'll see what happens um we will we'll we'll, we'll, we'll just see how, see how it goes um yeah I'm hoping that Hob is out because uh, just like with Mario Odyssey, we're we're like we're we're like putting like a um, a link to the stream in in the, in the Hob video a lot shorter than the one that was in um, Steven Sausage Roll though uh, to link to the big Neo stream that we're gonna do tomorrow. So we're gonna play Neo all day tomorrow, and I'm hoping that the video is out in time. If it's not, then it'll just link to Wednesday, and uh, and and the Neo stream will just the big Neo stream will happen on Wednesday if I can get it done. Um, but it's like a 30 minute video on Hob, so like it's, it's it's not it's not a small one. It's not a huge one, but it's not a small one either. What about the demo? I've already played the demo, and I spoke to Mikey, and um, Mikey's actually involved in with Crows, 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 and uh, he suggested that I, that I just that I just play the game and not play the demo on stream. I was excited to see you post a script for your hob video on Patreon, but then I had to stop myself because I realized I don't want spoilers for your video. Yep, yep, that's pretty much yeah. That's uh, that's uh, that's that's a good way of doing it. Yep, especially when the video is gonna come out like soon at the, at the, at the latest for patrons. It'll be it'll be out tomorrow for you guys at the latest. So I'm hoping later tonight, but at the latest it'll be out tomorrow for you guys. All right, so let's tweet out. Um, plan Stanley Parable. For the first time today, did I finish Assassin's Creed Origins? No, I didn't. Nope. No, I did. I didn't. I have not. I didn't finish Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, will we go back to Assassin's Creed Origins? Mm, maybe. I was actually enjoying it quite a bit, so uh, maybe we will.
sorry, cracking my knuckles. Bad habit. It doesn't really matter. Like, who cares? It's not. It's not that bad. Okay, it's pretty quiet, right? Because uh, because the the game's all tabbed. So, yep. Mm -hmm. Someone's talking about vods. Hello, Big Daddy Joe. How are you doing today, my friend? <laughs> Big Daddy Joe. Uh, as and just just usual. I'm tired. I'm always tired. I'm always tired. Did you change the hob script because of the developer stuff? I added a little bit, yeah. So I made some changes, but nothing. I didn't change what I said. I just changed how I said some stuff. Yeah. If if you read the script, it's pretty obvious where 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 the stuff was added. Yeah. I'm really excited to hear what you think about Donkey's Odyssey, Odyssey video. Does his video give you more of a perspective of why everyone gave it such amazing ratings? Or are you disappointed he wasn't more critical? I asked because I know we're both big fans of his, and I didn't think Odyssey was that great at all. Okay, so the so the Donkey video. Speaking about the Donkey video, Od Donkey's Odyssey video a little bit um, in in Discord. Let me scroll all the way down and then actually put the, put the game up so we can actually have something that isn't just just static in the background. Um, so I watched the donkey video and I spoke a little about it in the Discord yesterday. Um, now what I'm about to say is is not what I think it the, the video is, and I know it's not because it even got copyright claimed. But so so please please let me explain after I say that what I'm about to say. The donkey video for Odyssey felt like an advertisement for Odyssey. It it, it felt like a commercial, and that's not to say that Donkey is in the pocket of Nintendo. What's that to say is that Donkey loved that game okay like 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 i, I believe he's being 100 percent honest in, in that video like he loved that game so I, it's 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 it, it comes like shining through the video like fucking crazy so like it's you you, you can't like you, you, you can't like I, I it's almost undeniable how much you love the game from from coming through the video um and from what he spoke about the game like leading up to release and like in, in some of the other videos he did um that that's that's pretty that should be what expected right it's it's, it's to be expected of, of how of, of that, that he loved the game like he, he loves the 64 uh everything that he saw in the trailers made him excited for odyssey whereas everything that i saw in the trailers for odyssey made me kind of go uh well is that really going to be all that great i don't know about that like you can you can you can take over a t-rex okay well the t-rex looks kind of weird is it going to be good to control you know what i mean now like he, he went in with with expectations that were sky high and somehow the game met the, those expectations, and I don't, I don't think there's any any more of a perfect storm for enjoying a video game than a mix of like ridiculously high expectations and somehow the game meets them. Like there's 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 no there's no way you to enjoy a game more than that. You know that's the, that's crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, but his his video of, of of Odyssey is so is so glowingly positive that it feels like an ad or it feels like a parody of of, of positive videos uh, on it um so i like I'm, I'm very happy that he that he enjoyed it but there was nothing in that video that made me think oh i get it now it, it, it was just he was just he was just gushing the whole time um I will say that my my trailers, the trailers that I watched and my reaction to them, that I thought that the possession mechanic was going to be a complete waste of time and it was going to be completely fucking boring, and I was wrong. And and the the um the the possession mechanic was actually pretty fun. Like I, I thought it was going to be really bad. Uh, so that 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 was my. Uh, experience going from trailers to the game um, like it wasn't the possession mechanic that, that ended up making me not like that game all that much it was the it was the amount of filler moons and the amount of filler content and how the worlds were really not that interesting and that there was no challenge and and and, and that sort of thing they could have done more of the possession yeah I think so too well even donkey says that in the video he's more he's excited for Mario Odyssey too so yeah the example he used of um, of how there are multiple ways to get to get through things, um, because if I, I have to say, I, I, as far as his videos go, that was what his most serious one. There were hardly any jokes in that video. It it, it felt it felt like his attempt at doing an actual review in his style, but there were no real 
jokes. You, you, do you guys do you guys agree? Do you follow what I'm saying? Like that that felt like like an, a review. It didn't feel like hey I'm I'm here's my kidding and I'm gonna put a score. You know like that felt like a review. Um, so um, when when he, when he said something along the lines of and I'm paraphrasing because I'm trying to remember. Um, you know, there's there's so many multiple ways to 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 get to attack things because you know you can go through this pipe and do the 2D Mario part, or you can just jump up the wall and it's like okay, well, that's like th that that is a, a thing in the game. He's right that there are, are are multiple ways to get around and multiple ways to do things, but that is like, could you have picked a worse example? Like 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 what? Like you. You, you can you can you can do a jump up this wall yeah like who who isn't gonna know that or you can and skip this whole kind of two D sequence that a lot of people think is one of the one of the greatest things in the game and you miss a moon you know and we made the joke in Discord last night is skipping a moon worth a moon because the way that game works maybe um, but yeah I'm really happy that he enjoyed it a lot and I wish that I had too like that's that's this you never want a game to be bad you never want a game to be bad. You never want a game to be bad, ever. He has a few like that, but this one had even less comedy than the other serious ones. Yeah, I haven't watched every single Dunkey video. I've watched almost all the ones that he's done in the past year, I think. And I can't remember a video that was that was, that was was um, more serious than this one. Anyway, so let's, let's actually start playing the game. Um, th okay, uh, so I know very, very little about this. Like I said, I think I played the demo. Actually, I'm, sh I'm certain that I played the demo um, when, when, the, when the game was, was first coming out. Um, audio is very important in this game, so I'm going to start it. And if the audio is bad on the narrator, then I will restart it. And you guys need to tell me, okay? I'm going to, going to try to be a l quiet when the narrator is speaking. And um, like and, and and that's it. And I think um, we'll just we'll just see what happens. Okay, there's some questions. Let's take some questions first. What do you know about the Stanley Parable? I know there's a narrator, and it's all about choices. And if you want to listen or ignore the narrator, and that's all I know. What was your favorite possession in Super Mario Odyssey? Um, uh, probably the, the 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 charging sport guys, uh, the football players. Uh, cause, cause, cause I love Super Mario World, so, and, uh, but they weren't really used all that much, so, I don't know, maybe the bullet, bullet bills, I have no idea. None of them were like, oh my god, fantastic, but it, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Do I have subtitles on? Uh, I think so, let's see. Uh, what would that be under audio? Closed captioning. Subtitles only, full captions, subtitles only, okay, there we go. Speaker configuration. Are you planning to do everything Stanley has to offer? Also, hello from sunny Scotland. Sunny Scotland? Scotland's never been sunny when I've been to Scotland, so I'm happy that you're having some sun. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm planning to do everything, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Alright, here we go. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Never the end is never the end, is never the end. Click the This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what... Too low? Okay. Okay, how about now? Buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did. Okay, how about now? Perfect, okay. Perfect, 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 okay. Alright, let's restart it then. Begin the game again. Okay, let's restart. Oh, shit. 
Well, we fucked it up already. We fucked it up already. We fucked it up. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So, the whole place is abandoned? So it's like Dark Souls. Okay, so I know an enough about this game to, to know that it's like about following the narrator or choosing to go against them. So for the first time, um, I'm going to do what he tells me to do as a baseline. I think that I think that's what I would want to do. Um, if I was playing this blind and I knew nothing about it, then I would probably like like fuck you narrator just to see fuck with the game. But unfortunately, part of it has been spoiled for me. A long, long time ago. Oh, cool. What, can you read some of that? Recommendations from the over from the overnight committee, June or July eighteenth, nineteen. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Who farted? Holy shit, there's so many doors. 4546. That's all I know about this game, by the way. I know nothing else. That's all I know. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, so I'm gonna guess we can't open any door. Like that's just not a thing that's gonna happen at any point, unless unless there's like Yet a marker. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside of you. Take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some level on all that text. <laughs> Bevel. Everyone is unique. You most of all. Now 
Number of slides on the slide. Charts, charts and slides, slides. What do people want? Things. Happy feelings. Mike James, you are fired. The stock market is somewhere here. Colored in segment, stripes. Requires more secondary research. What is hot? Profits, 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 profits. We have our new product. Graphs about things plus money. By quarterly post review review. We need more or less reviews. 402 plus 405 want to get rid of the death sport portion in the primary review schedule, but I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers, more water cooler heaters. Charts need to be more hip to appeal to, teen to teenage demographic. Find teenagers to put in teenage demographic. Big net, some sort of child trap. <laughs> Do not alter without consulting a whiteboard manager. Damn, they take their whiteboards really seriously around here. I like it when games have, have actual things on the wall that you can read. And like you can read the papers too. Whereas, you know, in in, pre, in older games, like it was, it was just a mess. Really, really low resolution. Synergize, core value expenditures. Shift global market per... So is they taped over something there? Parade? Monetize, free to play. Ooh. Ooh, parody games there. Broom closet. Oh, we can open this door. Okay, so some doors we can open. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. What if I don't? What if I don't? There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. I don't trust you, spooky narrator. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> Still in the broom closet, standing around doing nothing. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I like it in here. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> That's exactly what Turbo Button would say. That's exactly what Turbo Stan Button would say. And ugly and really, really stupid. Oh no! He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That He's pissed. Money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs <laughs> and hookers. <laughs> well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long term. Ooh, so the narrator isn't human. Species. Please remove Lore. their corpse from the area 
and instruct another human to take their place at the computer. Lore. Making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. What if I don't? How deep does this broom closet hole go? I'm barely reading chat, by the way, because I don't want the game to be spoiled. I'm barely reading chat. That's probably going to be what it is today. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm barely going to be reading chat. Okay, it doesn't seem like anything else is happening. I'll give it a little bit longer and then we'll leave. No, nope, didn't see anything happening. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Oh yeah, what if I go back in the broom closet? You too. I'm <laughs> at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. Fish, fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, narrator. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Executive bathroom. Oh. This is fancy. Business time. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his <laughs> boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Extra secret. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Sewage lilies by Claude Money. I am the most expensive boss. Carte Blanche. At Stanley just sat what? around twiddling his thumbs. I can't just, I trying can't to input pronounce that. I'm not even trying. Was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two, two eight, four, eight, five. Four, four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random <laughs> buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Those look cool. Can we leave? No, okay. Let's keep going. I'm expecting a head crab to jump out at me in any moment.
Uh, Professor Clockwork just subscribed. Thank you very much, Professor Clockwork. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Mm. What? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hmm. We're doing it. We're doing it. It kind of looks like a skull from the distance. And then it looks like a light bulb when you get closer. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh the shit, that's not what I do. Room packed with television screens. Bunch of numbers. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay, this is not what I expected to find down here. Okay, cool. Hold on, lights, lights, camera. Lights, now camera. The monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. Cool. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Action. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life <laughs> in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and <gasps> for all. Good luck, Stanley. Good luck. Good luck. What's this? I can't do it. Okay, so that's facility power. I think that's where we're supposed to go. Well, supposed. There is no supposed. Five? Okay. Mind controls, idle awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Blackness, 
and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Okay, let's 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 again. We're supposed to do. Stanley felt the cool what he said. Breeze upon his skin. That's what I said we're gonna do. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Good for you, Stanley. All right, that was an easy game. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and uh, we'll continue. No, we're gonna do something else. We'll do another ending. Um, low and low and dough just subscribed. Thank you very much, low and dough. I'll probably check that after um, we get like like a good good pause part in 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 the game. Um, the Stanley Parable followed the narrator's ending A ending A. Okay, so let's go through it again. What happens if I hit on on the mic control? That's what I want to see. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait, hold on. So when I looked around, was that a trigger that it did? No matter how oh, cool. All right. Looked, cool, 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 cool. All right. Trace of his co-workers. You know what? Fuck it. No, 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 no. We're gonna we're gonna be a rebel right away. We're gonna be a rebel right away. When Stanley yeah, came fuck you. We're going right. This We're was going not right. The correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Now nah, you're the antagonist here, narrator. I'm onto your games. You're the antagonist. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Nope. Nope. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. One thousand penalty for jumping off the cargo. Lift. Five. To oh. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Oh shit! Oh, well done, game. Oh fuck! Well done, game. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. 
Okay, you can left you can left click to to open and close doors too. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley. Knew uh, that was there. great. That was so great. The the, the setup of 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 like of like three things in a row that you ignore and then you see the sign and it's like okay well fuck you I'm, I'm gonna continue ignoring you and then it just makes fun of you for it that that was really good wow. that was really good yes. this room but eager to get back Wait. to business Stanley was it took different the first we said last time door on his left. shit was that different Stanley was so bad at following directions it's incredible he wasn't five years ago Just ah, oh, that's so great. All right, is there anywhere? Okay, I landed on the truck, and that's like the highest part, right? Off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. No. Give me a chance. You're just, you're just, you're just nice, 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 classy GLaDOS. That's what you are. You're nice, classy GLaDOS, and I'm not, I'm not falling for it, nice, classy GLaDOS. No. S spook spooky AI man, no way. Danger everywhere. Two B one. Two B. Is she here? Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Left again. He he always wants me to go left. That's three times in a row he's wanted me to go left. No, we're going to the blue door. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Ooh. Stanley walked oh, through the red door. Oh, he has power. Okay, interesting. No. No, we're going through the blue door. I still don't think we're communicating <laughs> properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? <laughs> Skill trees. Skill trees. Work with me. You've given me absolutely <laughs> nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. A third option. A third option. Okay, now, now I kind of want to follow it. No, oh, look at that. Ceiling light. Okay, now I kind of want to follow it. I kind of want to follow the third option. He always wants me to go left. So, fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. This this is interesting to me. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh yeah, to totally, totally. No, three, three choices, three, three, three. We want five choices, really. So three, oh, three. Of course, a three, really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion. Oh you shit! Know? Any level Called of out. Thinking or <laughs> Called out. Your surroundings. Does that sound good? <laughs> Think we can do that? Yes. Mm? 
Wonderful. It's Odyssey all over again, called yeah. out. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. What? Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. <laughs> How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Compete against others. You're objectively ranked last. Why not ask some friends for help? Friends list is empty. Oh, shit. A dead rat, this is your superior. A dead rat is objectively ranked. <laughs> Rip rat. F. F. F for the rat. F for the rat. Is it looping now? Yeah, it looks like it's looping. Okay, wait, wait, I'm going to go back through the orange door. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No, no, it didn't. No, no. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. What? Is there like a unique response to every single button there? Like, holy shit, how long would it take to see every answer? In this game, the baby what? towards danger. You huh. click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly <laughs> confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours uh, to, to make sure it's effective? Oh, uh, shit. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh, no. This is this is this, this is hitting too close to home right now. This is hitting too close to home. you know what? Fuck you, baby. Fuck you, baby. Fuck you, baby. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out, I'm out, I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> well, Stanley, is this any better? <laughs> At last, the one thing you've always desired. Game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? <laughs> Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will <coughs> fill a greater artistic purpose. Oh, shit. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> mm, this will go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of is this, course. Is this ending M for, 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 for Minecraft? Yes. It's complete. I made the standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work okay. of art and feel crying. ashamed at your He's own and Do you want to put him in the fire? Or like... uh, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. 
What? How long does this go on for? What the fuck? Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. Oh, shit. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Wait. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass um. box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. <laughs> I couldn't have done it any better myself. <laughs> what is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. What the fuck? It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Fucking hell, now you're thinking with assholes. What Jeez. the hell, narrator? No, actually, you know what? I think that's pleasant. <laughs> I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. But there's fall damage. Oh, now there isn't fall damage. Oh, because we're Portal. Because Portal doesn't have fall damage. Ah, they, they even thought of that. Well done. Well done. Okay, so, um, where's Cave Johnson? Oh, shit. Are we dead? Maybe I missed something in there, but oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. That sounds ominous. Can wait. Cool. So what I'm learning is that Dark Souls needs a narrator. That's what I'm learning. That's what I'm learning. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain what? started. 
and if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. That's different. So he does say different things. Interesting. Okay, so is the narrator remembering what's happening between between playthroughs? Like, is 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 this okay? So this is what the th that was the third ending we got, right? So, is is this the fourth time he's with me too? Like, is is I'm not reading chat, by the way. I'm not reading chat. I'm not reading chat. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, let's go right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? Its grace? Its subtle charm? No. Stanley knew it was something deeper, something darker. Yeah, so he's making fun of me for always wanting to come back to this room. So he knows. He knows. He remembers but too. To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. Nope, we're not doing that. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years Or it's random. Maybe maybe it's a random selection of, of choices, of, of things that he can say, and that's why well, it's still Stanley, different each time. Perhaps we've gotten off okay, let's stay on this here. thing. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by <clears throat> yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Her? Her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Uh-oh. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. What the fuck? Alright now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? Well, I mean, I'll take it. I'm trying it. to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come like, inside. This... Let me show you what's really going on here. This backfired on you, narrator man. I'll take it. I'll take it. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Oh shit, he's pissed. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Still, um... Still j j just as real as 2B, guys. This is the same level as 2B. This mannequin is my waifu. Press 1 on your keyboard. Huh. So now we're back in the in the computer thing. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. No, I'm not. I'm pressing a different button. Doesn't work. I'm pressing every other button except for that one.
Okay, it won't accept any other button. How's it going, wife? 3B? No, I have to push the button. I have to push the button. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. <coughs> Press V to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. It's all in his head. There isn't even an oven in here. Is this the oven? There's a stovetop thing, but I don't think that's... Is that is that like a weird small oven? There was never any bread, was there? So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy Whoa. world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. <laughs> down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Ah! Uh. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. What? Is reverse psychology? Okay, what? Okay, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. How, how, how do you rebel against two different orders? How do you rebel against two different orders? This is the kind of game that would put something in here, like, just just stand still and just let the game run for two hours and then come back. This is the kind of game that would do that. Okay, I guess, I guess we have to hit the button. I guess we have to hit the button. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Please press 8 to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not if I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please and die. Pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. <clears throat> well, 
That got dark. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting Wait, room. Wait, is the rain louder now? He would never be alone ever again. Okay, what if we turn the mind control machine came to a set of two of on? Doors. He entered the door and he there are so many branching choices down here that I don't know where they go. But what if we turn the machine on? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might for coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments. Oh with no. Some new age music. It called me on it. Oh no. I'm being punished. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Calm down, Stanley. I shouldn't be reading chat. Shit, I shouldn't be reading chat. That could, that could, that could have been a spoiler. That could be a spoiler. I shouldn't be reading chat. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stan 104 is fired. Control all this time? Was this the only Six oh one is fired with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Fired like the baby. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, <clears throat> happy All right, or so there's sad, a button up there. Or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as One, the cold reality of his two. past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once Five. and for all. Okay, there's three. Where's four? Where's the four button? Where's the four button? Is, is that the four button? That's the four button. Okay, so that's open now. What happens if we hit the buttons? One, two...
three. Okay, that didn't do anything. Is there a six? Maybe there's a six. Maybe there's a code. Maybe you do this after you turn it on. Let's go turn it on. Last he found the source of the ruler's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. <laughs> I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, oh, no. nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. Okay. About me. What? Where we're going. What all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Okay, right. let's try the buttons Good now. Mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Button hint? Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there it's in your office forever, one. pushing buttons endlessly and then die Two. alone. Other times, Where was three? I let the Three's office sink here. into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds this left. This is very like the end I'm of the enjoying portal. This so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where Three you're going? Three attempts remaining. Okay, so is there now? hints on the computers? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running Incorrect. from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. One. Okay. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Something here will save me. <laughs> Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Did that even count? Stanley, yeah, it counted. It's completely fucking with me. Disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. 
You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. <laughs> this is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Goodbye. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately Goodbye. to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it come. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Okay. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. Was was there a solution there? Could could I have broken out of that or were the numbers there just to fuck with me? Cuz if the numbers there are just to fuck with me, I'm I'm really impressed with that. Cause that I really did think there was a way to, 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 to get out of that sequence. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, let's go to escape. Let's go to escape. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping oh, and we need to go, we need, okay, so, so let's, let's, let's take, like, inventory here, okay, so we need, office. we need to go down these stairs, we need to go through, we need to go to, to another door when he tells us to go through it in, in, in the, in the fuck you ending, I'm going, if we take the right door at the beginning, and then there, there's, like, stuff, stuff with, with, like, the baby ending, it, when we, we could have gone through another door instead of the orange door, right, so... Like, holy shit. And I feel like there's something to do with the executive- Oh, what? I couldn't open that before. What? To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Extreme bathrooms. <laughs> What? Did I just did I just misclick when I opened it? Which I opened this for? I, I don't think I did. Maybe I did. This is weird. What if we close the door and just sit in the bathroom? This is it like the broom closet ending? No. Huh. Okay, that definitely couldn't be opened before. That definitely couldn't be opened before. What? Oh, shit. Doors monthly? Outdoors monthly? Shapes. Whoa, what the fuck is going? What? Okay, is that intentional or is my graphics card dying? What? Can we go down? Let's go up. Okay, we can't. Up does nothing. This this is up.
How high are we going? What? What's your story, spooky fake elevator? Alright, let's go down. button again we're gonna be on the same fucking place aren't we okay fuck you elevator Fuck you, fake elevator. All right, let's go to the escape route. Fuck this. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah blah blah. Dark secrets. The keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. I feel like this is something. I don't know what that's for. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nope. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Ooh, violent death. Okay. How violent are we talking? Like buzz saws or, or like a gun or behind him was a mimic? Shot. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yep. Let's do it. I'll be back with my mannequin. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. It reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. <laughs> oh shit! He resigned and willingly accepted this violent end okay, of his I... brief and shallow life. Fair well, Stanley. Oh no. Okay, ducking isn't gonna matter. Ducking isn't gonna change anything. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. What? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Wh what? What? Does the narrator have a narrator? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? <laughs> what? The narrator has a narrator? Does the narrator does the narrator's narrator have a narrator? Has been created for you long in advance. Death becomes meaningless. Making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? 
This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Nature paintings. Very nice. Stanley's computer. The office. Button sounds. A selection of sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Two doors. The set of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Corridor. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Filing cabinets. Yep, that's right. Office computers. Shit, we turned them off. Original music. Stanley Pebble credits written and directed uh, written and designed by Davy Redden and William Pugh. Is it Pugh? Additional level design, Colin Eddings and Jack Parsons programming Jesus. Hig I'm not gonna say that right, I'm sorry. Jesus Higaris. Sound design, Robin Arnott. Eduardo or Ortiz. I'm not even gonna try. And Kevin Brighting as the narrator. What about and the impeccable? What about the other narrator? Who's the other narrator? Okay. He always wants me to go left. Let's actually go left. The office. Maintenance room. Larger. The point of the Stanley Parable HD Remix is to lose the HD Remix? The point of the Stanley Parable HD Remix is to win? Am I going crazy? Maybe it isn't the same image. Was that clock there before? I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? There are screenshots of the Stanley Parable History Remix. More endings, fewer endings, more narrators, fewer narrators, more Stanley, less Stanley. Green light. Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these in further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Will the <laughs> what? Dear Strombad, how do you type with boxing gloves on, Ben? The lounge, an early version of the lounge. The office. What the fuck? The apartment timer. In a previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Oh shit. Is it gonna reset? The cargo lift was always intended to offer the choice of staying on or jumping to a different path. However, after this early version, we decided we also wanted the option of the player falling to their death. The cargo lift. Uh, have we seen that? I don't think we've seen that, have we? Or is it, is it the exact same one as this one? No, we've seen it. Yeah, okay. It's the same one. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Meeting room. Maybe there's another one. Maintenance layout. Obey, disobey, lounge, maintenance. Vent? I don't think we went to a vent, right? 
Okay, so there's options we haven't seen yet that they're talking about. Of the Zending, the player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe the color level they had pulled. This screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as the Zending, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. The game is now paused. Begin the game again. Resume the game. Options return. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. We ran four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one released in May 2012. It features a series of broken rooms and the voice of the narrator informing viewers that he is preparing a new version of the Stanley Parable. So, could I not have gotten this ending if I if I hadn't done other ones first? Like, or, like, because I have a feeling that maybe quite a few people are going to go down the escape route their first time. Are they going to see this, or is this after you've, you've gotten a few endings? How, how fucking big is this place? Oh, we're back here now. Okay, cool. All right, all right, all right. Good, 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 good. I was wondering where we're going to get back here. Screens from the development of the boss's office. Employee lounge. Underground. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of four level design. It's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively if you have even the most fundamental understanding of good and bad game design. But of course, the advantage would probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. Here, I'm just gonna make this easy. What? Freedom ending. Monitor room elevator. Exit. Okay, I think we saw everything, didn't we? I think we saw everything. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. You push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. That was cool. Do I have to quit?
Okay, let's actually interact with chat a little bit. Um, what do you guys think of it so far, if you haven't played this game before? I'm pretty sure everyone has played this game. I am the only one here that has never played this game before. What do you guys think? Let's actually have a little bit of chat interaction. I haven't been reading chat this whole time. Hey, can you narrow up the narrator volume since you're reading chat? What? I don't get it. I haven't. Very original. Yeah, it seems cool. I like it. <laughs> Mods are freaking out about you reading spoilers during the museum section. What do you mean? Like on the signs and everything? You gave everyone a dang heart attack in the museum since it contains spoilers. Better than Mario Odyssey. Uh, what if I quit to the menu? It said quit, right? It wanted me to quit. What if I quit to the menu? No. If I click on that one. Okay. No. Begin the game. Okay. I mean, actually up the narrator volume. It's a bit quiet, is it? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. So this is the same as last time. He had been at his desk for... Yeah, same as last time. Okay. Right, so I wanted me up the, up the narrator volume. Uh, there's no volume in here just for that. I can do the... I can turn the music down a little bit. That might help a little. Can I turn the music... Oh, that is turning the music down. Okay, I turn the music down a little bit. Okay. What? Wait, what? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, is that because I got that ending, or is it a random chance, or what? What the fuck? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Don't get fired. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, let's go Coming down. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <laughs> Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? <laughs> and for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? 
No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? <laughs> now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Didn't work. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Okay. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Too real. And then she turned and ran. 
And then she wondered why she was hearing a voice in her head telling her about all this. Okay, so we're back in the original version of the office now. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided Not to go raining. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Not raining, not raining. Okay. What do we have left to do now? We, 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 we went through escape. We went down the stairs and set it up. There was nothing in the bathroom, the executive bathroom. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, so there's a turn left Standing after this. Now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first <laughs> open door on his left. Okay. So let's go this way. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Okay, so is that that's the room with with all the th okay so let's go here but Stanley didn't want to go back to the office he wanted to wander about and get even further off track so now in order to get back he needed to go um uh, from here it's um Left. Left. Okay. Left it is. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. No. You always want me to go left. No, 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 no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Exactly. You always want to go it's left. It's clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down... Right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. I don't trust you, spooky truck. Oh, we're here. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. <laughs> Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so now let's go down the right-hand path, and when Stan wait, wait, what? Wait, what? No, I no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game <laughs> over, completely fresh. Everything should be. Well, did something change, Stanley? Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or a hold on? Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come Stanley, let's find the story. Oh no, there are so many choices. Oh no, okay, so are these connected? These are connected, right? Are right, they're connected. That's not. Okay, um... Fuck, man. All right, let's go this way. No, he always wants us to go left. Let's go right. That's probably meaningless, but fuck it. Wait, what? I'll say it. 
This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Now Why you're not? thinking with portals. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't think it's over. I don't think it's All over. All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just <gasps> came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. He reminds me of the, uh, the... No, wait, never mind. The narrator and Dungeon story. Keeper. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Daddy Pig from Peppa Pig. Just a little bit. Ooh, Ravenholm. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yeah, we won! Yeah, finally, a winner! A lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, yeah. good job. Best ending. We win. Because the game told us. I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. What are you talking about? Some people win fair and square, and this was not one Been of holding on W for so long. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. All right. What? I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Cool. Damn. So it just like th this is just shitting on like okay. How many games did just did this just take a shit on? Like uh, um, all of them. Yeah. Okay. What if we? Okay. I I want to. I don't want to follow the line, but I also don't want to have to do everything that we just did all over again to get back to this point. Is he gonna be mad? Is he, is, as long as I can see the line, we're okay, right? Are you pissed? I'm not following the line. No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Okay. All right. I'm glad. I glad we. I glad we did this detour. Okay, the line's still here. All right. Let's spec cops it up. See? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Okay, this the box is not part of the story. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one's subjective Whoa, experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going. Apology accepted. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. I agree. <laughs> The 
Chaos and Lion represents how the, the, the path to adventure is not always clear, while taking to unexpected places. Oh, oh, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. We did it. Okay, what's down here? That's not part of the other line. Stanley, this fern will be very important <laughs> later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. All right, we studied it. We study it. It's got some leaves. It's got some leaves. Yep. All right. Wait, but we're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Wait, what? Okay, let's follow the line. Let's follow the line. Oh, uh, we're here again. Wait. I don't want to be here again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, what if we go somewhere else? Oh, no. Still missing the doors. Did we make a mistake following the line? Perhaps we could have found the story on our own. Oh shit, we're right back here again. Okay, cool. So that's what we were following earlier. Okay, I understand now. Okay. I understand. Oh no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. The line's still here. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? I agree, We're narrator. Intelligent people, right? We've bonded. Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. With guns. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. <laughs> There's a trademark over it. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's great. I think, I think the, the line is a new antagonist. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. okay. Oh, shit. This is like so Odyssey. We won't get at this. The door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. 
And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, yep. Stanley. Our destiny awaits. The confusion ending? Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? <laughs> it's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game for eight Oh, eight sh times? oh shit. <laughs> that's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't. Do it, I won't do it, I won't do it. I think you're gonna do it. And the time went to stop. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we What if I restart it? What if I restart it? Break the cycle? The um whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... What? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Confusion ending is right. When Stanley came to a set of okay, two holy. open doors. Okay. He entered the door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. <laughs> he thoroughly loves this Was room. It this room, a connection between the two, could a man love a room? I think a man but could love a room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions; it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, so we died, we went down there, we went Looks through there and followed the directions. So we're gonna go left when we get up there, I think. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not after I think I don't I, I don't remember any more endings after that. In someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing or no, but like, you I, paths that we haven't done yet. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Okay, could we can we go left this up here, or am I not remembering right? Chance to redeem yourself. No, to put I'm not remembering right. I thought we could go to left. Let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh no! Is the stream down? Is the stream down? Hold on, let's go on Discord and find out. No, it's still here. Stream's still here. Okay, stream's good. All right. All right, stream's here. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm out of ideas at this point because I thought there was a door here. So maybe I should start. We should start playing it together with chat because I'm not. I'm not. I I like. 
I don't think I, I remember any other obvious paths at this point. I'm supposed to do them all and see if there's anything cool I can do. Wasn't there something like in 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 the area it's like you, you don't have to answer the phone? So what if I don't answer the phone? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Why is it plugged in? Stream is fine. Stream is fine. Pull the plug. Pull. Oh. As Stanley picked up the uh -oh. phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance but with hope. Hope for a life reunited. One. Wait. Oh goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Is Stanley stream still fine? The phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> Yeah, stream's fine. I can, I can still see it. All right, so just chat's having a problem. There's something wrong with chat. Is chat down? I don't know. I wasn't on it. Chat. I'm not getting. I'm not. I'm, no one. No one's talking in chat. Maybe I need to reload chat. Do you want me to check? That's okay. I'm reloading chat. Maybe there's something wrong with my chat window. Maybe they're all talking. And I can't see it. Thank you, Lily. How are you? I'm okay, how are you? Okay, so it was just on my end. So I can see chat now. Can you guys talk? So I can see it? Chatting is fine? Okay, so chat was down for me. Okay, cool. It's fixed now. Alright, cool. This is the last of the bread, by the way. So oh, I can't no. have a sandwich tomorrow. Unless we go get more bread. No sandwich? What am I going to do? I don't know. I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting so you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. <laughs> it's as though you've completely ignored even the most basic safety like protocol like for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. In the real Please world. Observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. What? It's the best part of being a real person. All this was but hidden behind him plugging a phone? It can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember, 
that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Mm -hmm. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. <laughs> Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. A crazy game. I think my chat might be bugged again. That's okay. I, c I have some of the stream video open, so I can see that it's still gone. Twitch is fairly buggy, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Like we haven't been streamed for very long, but there've been like what, like three separate times where something's gone wrong. The left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Well, yesterday was OBS. It wasn't Twitch. Or it was Assassin's Creed. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Yeah. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? Yeah, what? what did you think was you so wrong? special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can Gur I everywhere. that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? The narrator is that there's a world outside of you. You're a child. It is a lot. Oh. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. 
That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! <coughs> ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <coughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Ooh. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Doesn't have a bathroom this time. Wait, what? Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Night sure Shark not. 115? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Does the game know I have a microphone open and it wants me to actually say Night Shark 115? I'm I don't sorry, think so. A problem? Yeah. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I okay, can't talk, fine. I'm sorry. I can't talk, it. I'm sorry. You know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. Narrator's very upset. That's alright. I'll wait for you to 
decide what's the right thing to do. Cool, chat's back. Take as much time as you need. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. What the fuck? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I just remembered he lied about the fern being important. How dare he? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Oh no, oh no 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, does something happen if I stay in the elevator for long enough? Does something happen? Chad is also saying no. Chat could lie though. Chat could lie. What if I enter the wrong code? Here's oh. the door. Just go. Hey, what if I enter a code? There's a lot of content to hide, um, hide behind him plugging a phone. Wait, a load? Did it load last time? Yeah, it must have. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, we did that. Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley 
one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, let's see what happens if we, if we end the game properly after doing so many other endings, if there's anything here that happens. rising chill of uncertainty was it over yes he had won he had defeated the machine unshackled himself from someone else's command freedom was mere moments away and yet even as the immense door slowly opened Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. Okay, so nothing different. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Good for you, Stanley. Okay, I think I'm out of obvious ideas of what to All do now. Co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley so... decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his. Let's go through it. So there's no there's no choice that I've seen in this area. Maybe there's something to do with the computers, but I haven't seen anything. Some doors you could open after you played a little bit though, so I feel like there must be something to do with the boss's bathroom and the and the elevator, but maybe not. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door so and see. left. We've gone left, and when we went left, we went downstairs to that to that big long um like rant that the narrator goes on, which ends up with you flying around, then you die, and then Marguerite finds us and that's the end. We've gone upstairs and then we've turned the machine off, turned the machine on. We went through the escape. We went through the the, the, the kind of like 
developer asset room. We did that. And from what I understand, there's nothing else there that I could find. We've gone to the right. We've jumped off of, the, sorry, we've gone to the right. Then we've gone left down into the elevator and we did that area, that, that whole, whole bit. That ends it with the yellow line, right? We went to the right. We jumped off the, the lift, died. We went on, went to the right. We jumped off the lift onto the, onto the, um, the, the, the kind of bridge that was sticking out. We went through the door and that was when we did Minecraft and Portal. Um, and then we went, we went on the elevator, crossed it, went to the phone room, answered the phone, and got like the depressed ending. And then we went in there, we unplugged the phone, and we got the other ending. So what? I think the chat's broken again. So why does my chat keep breaking? Is anyone else's chat keeps breaking? Because I actually want to use chat at this point because I don't think there's anything really obvious that's left. Okay, now it's back. Okay. So I didn't notice anything going through the left path. So let's go through the right path again and see if there's anything obvious that I missed. And at that point, maybe we should open chat and I'll and I'll do endings that chat wants me to see. Just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps too majestic, like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, we did that. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay, so we went up there, we jumped off. Let's jump off the Look, catwalk Stanley, and see what I happens think perhaps here. we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Nothing Do you have here. zero okay. consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yeah, try to bust it again. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Maybe I need to restart the whole the stream window, not the stream, just just the, just the whole Twitch window, and pop out chat again. Okay, let's see if that fixes it. It's being kind of slow. I wonder if my internet's kind of crapping out on download speed. Sometimes that happens and it's really not good. Yeah, it's, I think it's my internet. I think my internet's being shit. Um, sometimes this happens, it's strange. It only affects download speed, upload speed is fine, which why the stream is okay. I don't, I think, I think, I think that's what's happening. That sucks. I have to restart the computer to fix that. Now listen carefully, this is important. Oh, okay. Stanley walked through the red door. So we kept walking through the blue door and we got teleported back, right? Okay, so what's this one? Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way so you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. Yep, I have a tablet. I could open chat on tablet. It's a good idea. It's working right now. Let's see. If it, if it breaks again, that's what I'll do. Hmm. What do we want? What 
What are we looking for? Hmm? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. No, wait. Where are you going? Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this! Please, no, Stanley! Let me stay here! Don't take this from me! Oh shit. What? Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Okay, let's go back. Can we go back? What happens if we go back? Will he be happy? Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go... Um, that also means that if anyone has actually um, subscribed to the channel or something like that, which I'm not sure has happened, then I haven't seen it, so I'm very sorry that I haven't been able to say um, to say thank you. No, what do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die! What about this isn't getting through to you? No! Oh, <laughs> thank God. You know. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Okay, what if I go back there now? That I tried to kill myself three times. Stay alive, or are you just teasing me? I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. <laughs> okay, the internet's being really slow on the tablet as well, so it's not the computer, it's just the internet. So I don't understand why, if it's the internet, why it is, uh, 
why upload is still fine, but oh well. I'm not gonna question it. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. It's on Twitch's end, do you think? No, it's not on Twitch's end because um, because other sites are, are having trouble loading too, so it's it's a uh, it's a problem All even even on the tablet. Gone. What could it mean? But chat Stand is kind of working right now, so I don't know why, memo. but it's working fine right now. Even though it's being shitty on the tablet and everything, so I don't know what's going on. It's completely inconsistent. Okay, so what's the? I think that's everything. I I don't think unless I can go back and get the the orange doors. Like when when he wanted me to go through the orange door, and then I just didn't go through them. I went through the other ones instead. Maybe if that's an ending, but that's 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 it's a fair ways to get to there. So I guess we should just go do that and see what happens. Go out the window? What window? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. What? Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm, I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, oh, boy. certainly 50 clicks. It's the multi-dash thing all over again. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Ooh. Great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Well, I didn't... I didn't do the amount of clicks he wanted. Is 437 in here? Or is it further deeper in? Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Now, back to door number 437. <laughs> I'm not sure. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Like, I'm not sure, but I think he's fucking with me. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. I, th I think he's fucking with me. I'm not sure, but I think he's fucking with me. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419? Okay, how do we do that? Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. 416. It's down here, isn't it? We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! So excited. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door four, three... Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? I know, right? What was I thinking? Okay, so that kind of taught me you can go up things. So... Is there anything else that you can, like, ramp up? <gasps> what? 
Wait, what? I wasn't expecting a noise there. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. What window? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And here it was, the lounge. <laughs> what a room, what a what room. What a room, Stanley thought to himself. What a room, what a room, what a room. This is what Stanley... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. This, what, really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. All right, so when now I was here before, Stanley, this is there was a... Stanley walked through the... You go through there, and he used the blue door, right? And then, and then, and then, um, you get teleported out. So you go through the blue door, and you get teleported out. Aha. Uh -huh. Perhaps you right? misunderstood. Right? And then... Stanley walked through the red door. He makes an orange door, doesn't he? So what if I go through the other doors after that? I still don't think we're communicating properly. Okay, we went through that Stanley one. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, we'll go through the blue oh, door. Fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You, see, you went through the orange doors? Yeah, I want to go through the, do the doors that aren't orange. What if I go through the doors that aren't orange in this section? To be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. Okay, this so... already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Is the doorknob off this? Okay, so what if I go through the other doors? Oh, it doesn't matter. He's okay, like, fuck you. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Five. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? You're just so brilliant, well, narrator. It's instinct, mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. <laughs> Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay, leaderboard. Right, let's go through here. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Absolutely, yeah. I, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working okay, on. So these choices and now don't matter at all. Okay. The opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In 
this game, the baby crawls left. Okay. So I don't think there's anything new here. Let's let's begin the game again. Okay. Someone says something about a window. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. That's two, four. Four, three, four. Okay. You don't need to do all caps, okay? You don't need to do all caps. What's four, three, four further down? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co -workers. Wait, wasn't this at the beginning? Oh, why can we... Um... Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Okay, why does that work? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. <laughs> <laughs> he then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Oh, no. Then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have yes. taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole it's going full takes meta. Time. Full what meta. The other option is even longer. How long will you spend in total yep. just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is really good job, Perhaps game. You just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens <laughs> in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough. How tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though, if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just let's just go for it. Let's just commit. Yeah, we're going to go see the uh, option. Of course we are. All of his co-workers Okay, so I would have never found this. Stanley decided to go to the Ever. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Why is it hard to go no the second how time? Hard Stanley looked. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Never would I have found this. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure the chat's broken again. and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? 
Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. <laughs> there once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. <laughs> will become quite unbearable. Does it loop? Okay. Okay, chat is... It keeps stopping and then it says reconnecting in two seconds and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't so chat is working right now all of his co-workers were wait no this isn't the right office is it is this stanley's office what Okay, so I think that we're out of obvious endings, I think. Um, so I kind of want to just, one chat is working, just go through some of the ones that I missed with chat. Does that sound like a good idea or is that gonna ruin some of it for me? Like if I if I stayed here for, for a while and just bash my head against this for hours, would, would, that, would that end up being enjoyable or are you kind of supposed to look up online, hey, what are these obscure endings? Like what, what, what am I, like what am I supposed to do? Like what's, what's the idea here? Because I think if I was playing this off without stream that I would probably try just a little bit longer and then I would be like, okay, I can't find any more. What did I miss? And I would have fun going through that. I think, I think that would, that, that would, um, that's what I would do. Because I can, t like I said, I can tell you right now, I would have never found this unless I was just walking around and I just accidentally stumbled into this. And e even if I did accidentally stumble into this, I would, I would never have thought that, oh, okay, well I can crouch and go out the fucking window. Like, like that, like I would never have found that ever. Okay, so let, let's do an experiment. Give give me an ending to do, and I will tell you if I would have found that on my own. I'm looking at chat right now. Maybe chat's broken again. That's gonna make it difficult. Shit. Like I'm just I'm just leery of kind of drawing that line because I don't I don't want there to be like I don't want to can you go up every chair because I don't want to ruin the experience for myself because I really enjoyed this game but at the same time I think I think I've exhausted all the options what the 
that I would have found by myself, I mean. Okay, that's not doing shit. Input received. What does that do? What's that all about? I feel like that's something. But then again, there were there were buttons in the in in the in the countdown ending that just did nothing. They were fake outs, right? So I don't know. Click on door four thirty five times. I did that one already. I did that one already. Lock yourself inside your office. Go into boss's room and, and then quickly go out before it closes. All right, let's do those two. Okay. Lock yourself inside your office. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his response? Yeah, I wouldn't have done this. He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. Eh, maybe. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. <laughs> Wait, why is their phone ringing? Wait, am I going the wrong way? Is is there something else I'm supposed to do with the boxes? Okay, that's not working. Okay, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe maybe he tells me to go for the boxes. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. What? <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Can't close that door. Anything in the bathroom? What? 
Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. That's different. Okay. That's the same computer as last time, but now it's a third one. So is there a fourth computer now that I have to hit that? Money crisp. Go to the boss's office, then backpedal through the double door before it closes. Here's the door. Uh oh. Uh oh, what have we done? What have we done? This door's open now. Why is this door open? Going to the deep Stanley parable. You are now leaving. Escape pod bay floor 760. Escape pod? Skip a number. I'm darker. Escape. What? Oh. Okay then. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Why can't I click on this computer? Okay, there we go. Okay, so is that, does that led you to believe it? Like, because you clicked on all of them so far, and then, you, and, and then you're trying to hump to get the computer, and it puts you up on the chair, and then you're like, oh, maybe I can go over here. Like, is, is, that, is that what's meant to lead you toward it, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe? I don't know.
Okay, so now there's another computer somewhere that needs the same input. I'm just wondering if I have to restart to do that. Maybe I do. Okay, let's restart and see if it's there. Yeah. What? Welcome, Stanley, to heaven. Cool. We made it. We made it to heaven. <laughs> heaven is buttons? <laughs> heaven is buttons. Okay, is there anything to do here, or is this just like, this, this is it? I'm guessing this is all there is to do here. Alright, begin the game again. That's kind of funny. Heaven is buttons. Alright, so I can go back there anyway. Cool, alright. Okay, someone said to go to the boss's- when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Boss's office and input the code that the box lady gave me? Okay, I can't remember what the code was. Was it one, one, one- Yet there was not a single 1,300 and something? Feeling what was the code? of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Chat's not working again. Great. Chat is not working again. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes, if the boss has suffered losses, then that's where the boss that's what the boss chose. Ooh. Who's really the boss though? Who's really the boss? Here's the door, just go. Okay. What was the code? 1,300 and something. I'm gonna refresh chat and I'm sure people are, are spamming it right now. 1327. Thank you. Whoops. What? Okay, I couldn't be further from two. One. Th what? Okay, look at where the center of the screen is. Why is that doing two? There we go, one. Why is that two? One. Three. Two. Seven. There we go. What's going on? I have no internet. You have no internet? Yeah. I oh. have a speed test says I have lots of internet, but I have no internet. So I'm guessing somebody Still did working? something to my computer. So. Okay. I'm getting other internet. One three two seven didn't do anything. Let's try it again. Really? That's two.
Let me refresh, refresh chat. Mine's still working. Yeah, I figured because you didn't come out. But... Yeah, ba barely though. It's barely working. It's not working. And I did the speed test. Let me do the speed test. And it says it's it's typical or whatever. But I can't open anything. I tried, like, pushing all the things in the back end. Like, you know, I thought maybe something was loose. But... Yep. This isn't opening either. Yep, there's something wrong with it. Maybe it needs to be restarted or something. Okay, give me. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Yep. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. And stop blaming the kid then, because he needed to do it. Okay, so give me one more, one more ending, and then we'll probably call it here. What's one more thing that you want me to do? chat this is so annoying with chat breaking constantly i'm sorry guys Type face punch on your keyboard. Well, that's creepy. The fuck? Now I'm getting no symbols or anything in chat either. That's not good. Open console and type SV underscore cheats one. How do I open the console? Normally it's like tilled, right? It's not working. Have I gotten over here, you mean out of bounds? Yeah, I, went, I did that, yeah. Yeah, that's not working, yeah. The, the, the tilt key isn't bringing it up. Options. Yep, it says it's that one, but it's not working. Maybe that's a different one. Hold on, let me see if I can if I can change it. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, not working. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working, but it's not. Enable developer's console. Okay. Is that under extras or keyboard or mouse? Extras. No. Uh, I don't see how it could possibly be under video or audio. I went to extras. Saves achievement. That's it. You need to add uh, console. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay, cool. All right, so that 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 that'll make it work. All right. Okay. Anything else? Any other ending? We're gonna be done very shortly. Like, I just want to do one more ending and then we're gonna call it. It's fine. I would like to do like a like a, a Q and A thing at the end of the stream to talk about the game, but. Um, our internet isn't working apparently. I, I, I have no idea how I'm still alive. 
I, I have no fucking clue. Because usually when the internet is bad like this, it's only my computer for some reason. It happens to my computer a lot on our, our on our internet that I have to I have to restart to fix my download. I don't know why it happens, but it happens. Usually when I go to, to specific websites, like, I don't know, IMDB triggers it for some reason. In the camera room, don't go up the elevator after bringing it down, but instead wait and go back to the first light bulb button in the room. Okay, we can do that. All right. I uh, I, I thought that might happen, but um, I guess I didn't wait long enough. The doors didn't open. Are there any Stanley big endings that I missed? Two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's No office. big endings? Okay. Hoping he might come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What happens if you press the baby button for four hours? Here's the door, just go. Okay, so I want me to type in 8888 eight, eight, eight to, the, to the thing? How is that two? Oh my god, I hate this thing. I hate this thing so much. I have to do it two times? Okay, sorry. Sorry. What would that do? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yeah, I know about the console thing. It's not activated though, so we can't do it without restarting the whole game. And I don't want to do that. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised the stream is still active because I'm having internet problems at the moment. I don't know the why. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay, so bring the elevator down. Instead of bringing the elevator down, we're gonna go back after these doors open, I guess. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay, so we're gonna wait for this to open. Chat's dead again, sorry. This is why we're, we're gonna call it. Okay, this isn't... Do I have to step on and then quickly step off again? Okay, it opened. That took a while. Disco secrets, go go secret rangers, secrets for President 2016, never give up on your dreams, there is no turning back, don't touch the secrets, secrets. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a cool way to end and go out on. Okay. Never go beat crit? What happens if you go up the elevator now? 
No. Oh, it stops. He refused to believe it. He <laughs> couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Cool. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Okay. So let's 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 end it here. Okay. Um, Chad's actually working. So let's uh, maybe I can say say goodbye to everybody. Uh, you should try out the de the demo. I played the demo when it first came out. I think. I th I'm I'm pretty sure I remember playing the demo. Yep, I think I remember playing the demo. All right, thanks for stopping by, guys. Sorry that the stream was kind of wonky with internet and everything. Um, that was a little little bit off. And there's an infographic of all the endings if you want it. I'll look it up after after. Um, so tomorrow we're going to play Neo, and I'm going to try my damned hardest to get a video on Hob later today for, for patrons, and a vid and it'll be out for everyone else tomorrow. But if I don't, it'll just be delayed by a day. Not the end of the world, but still not ideal. So I'm going to try my hardest. So that's what I'm going to go do now, after I go see if I can fix the internet for Lily. Um, thanks for stopping by, guys. We might talk about uh, Standing Parable a little bit tomorrow, but I can just say now that I really, really liked it. This this was this was really cool. I really I really enjoyed myself today playing this game. I, 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 I thoroughly enjoyed this. This was really cool. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.